Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I wanted to discuss something absolutely urgent and crucial with you guys in the world of jailbreaking, the all-new Taiji Jailbreak Patching Firmware, iOS 8.1.3. Alright, so starting off immediately inside of Safari here, as I mentioned before the intro, 8.1.3 was released and it does indeed patch the Taiji Untethered Jailbreak. That's the gist of it, and if you want instructions on how to avoid the update, as well as how to maintain your device's jailbreak through iOS 8.1.3 and future updates, I will actually have an annotation on the screen now to my recent coverage, as well as a link to it down below in the more info. Again, I highly recommend watching that for everyone and with that said let's go ahead and switch over and get more in depth so today in a rather devastating blow to the jailbreak community albeit a foreseen one apple issued ios 8.1.3 the third incremental 8.1.x update succeeding both 8.1.2 and 8.1.1 to the general public now currently unlike the latest firmware's predecessor 8.1.3 cannot be jailbroken by the latest taiji jailbreak utility which has officially been patched now in light of the rather painful fact that it's currently not possible to jailbreak 8.1.3, today's news isn't all bad. As with past iOS 8 and iOS 7 updates, in addition to being available through Apple's over-the-air, commonly referred to as OTA for short, update option, 8.1.3 can be downloaded and installed via iTunes. However, while it's possible for any device supported by iOS 8 to update to 8.1.3, it's of the utmost importance that current jailbreak users avoid today's new firmware at all costs. The new 8.1.3 update is a minor release. We also have confirmation from Apple that several of the vulnerabilities exploited by Taiji are patched in iOS 8.1.3. And as of now, without an update to either Taiji or Pangu, it's not possible for any device to jailbreak 8.1.3 untethered when utilizing the latest jailbreak utilities. Now looping back to the firmware itself, as suggested by iOS 8.1.3's release notes, the firmware simply rectifies minor bugs, including an issue that prevented select users from entering their Apple ID password for FaceTime and messages, a bug that caused Spotlight to stop showing app results, which was certainly an annoying one, a complication with multitasking gestures on iPads, and a few other oddities. Now, in other words, as far as iOS 8.1.3 is concerned, the update is relatively small, carries a slightly revised build number over 8.1.2, and is intended to improve a number of smaller issues present in iOS 8.1.2 and earlier iterations of iOS 8. Although 8.1.3 does provide a remedy for issues that have plagued devices running iOS 8, it's recommended that all users who are currently jailbroken on iOS 8 through 8.1.2 again avoid the latest update. And while it's definitely and while it's definitely going to sound redundant, I simply cannot stress how important it is for those of you who are jailbroken to avoid iOS 8.1.3, as neither Taiji, Pangu, nor PP will function on the firmware as things currently stand. Now again, as I mentioned before, if you guys are interested in how to maintain your device's jailbreak, then just be sure to watch my recent video. It does include some really useful and helpful tips. Now to summarize, several vulnerabilities utilized by Taiji have been patched in iOS 8.1.3, namely the primary kernel exploit, and it's anyone's guess which team will release the next jailbreak utility, but they could very well opt to wait for iOS 8.2, seeing as it's both the next major iteration of iOS 8 and rumored for release sometime in March alongside the forthcoming Apple Watch. And in spite of the fact that security updates aren't really listed in Apple official changelog for the firmware, Taiji's kernel exploit, in addition to several others, were indeed patched, as stated on Apple's official security page. And let's go ahead and switch over there just so I can show you guys really quick, and that's why I didn't release this video immediately following iOS 8.1.3's release, because Apple didn't actually update their security page with iOS 8.1.3. It simply showed 8.1.2 as being the latest firmware. However, I was able to find Apple 
Apple's official support listing, and when you do a search for Taiji, it does confirm that they did patch several of the vulnerabilities. As you can see, we do have four matches on the security document here, stating that these vulnerabilities have indeed been patched in iOS 8.1.3, and they do credit Taiji for discovering them. So as you can see, the final one is actually the kernel exploit. As you can see, it has been patched for devices, being the iPhone 4S and later. So every single iOS device running iOS 8.1.3 does have this new kernel exploit patch, meaning it cannot be utilized again for 8.1.3 and future iterations of iOS 8 like 8.2. So keep that in mind, this is not just another simple update like 8.1.2 was because it does patch the jailbreak. So Taiji will not be releasing a jailbreak utility in less than 24 hours like they did for iOS 8.1.2. I will keep you guys completely updated along the way though, so if you aren't already subscribed, just be sure to hit that subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you're on the main page for this video, and from there you will be updated immediately when a new jailbreak utility is available, as well as new updates pertaining to the development of such a tool. Also, if you guys want to be updated even more frequently, then just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. I will also keep you guys updated of all Apple products, including the forthcoming Apple Watch. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.